This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood has recommended that transit systems in Houston and Dallas receive $279 million as part of a $2.2 billion in recommended transportation projects nationally. Dallas area rapid transit is slated to get $79 million to fund the Orange Line light rail expansion to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Houston is in line for $100 million for its own light rail system. WFAA.com reports flight attendants, ground workers, and mechanics with American Airlines and American Eagle were picketing outside Terminal D at DFW Airport Tuesday afternoon. About 200 protesters were walking up and down the sidewalk. Many are longtime employees of American Airlines who said they have devoted their lives to a corporation that does not play fair. AMR's reconstruction plan calls for laying off 13,000 workers, terminating pension plans, and closing its Alliance Fort Worth maintenance base. American Airlines spokesman Bruce Hicks said, Restructuring the company is a difficult but necessary process. Every employee group, unionized, independent, support staff, and management will be affected. WFAA.com reports police said a woman in her 60s was found dead on Valentine's Day morning inside her house in San Antonio. The woman's caretaker, who found the body, was taken in for questioning. Police said he had blood on his shirt and ran to a neighbor's house for help. The caretaker told police that he checked in on his client around 6 a.m. and then went to get breakfast. He allegedly found the woman inside the home with multiple stab wounds when he returned. A knife was found in a recycling bin outside the home. According to neighbors, the victim sold flowers and was a former teacher. She lived alone. Police said the caretaker is not being held as a suspect at this time. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.